Today back then, what happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. In 1725, Catherine the Great becomes the Empress of Russia. In 1790, George Washington delivers the first State of the Union Address in New York City. In 1820, American Civil War General William Tecumseh Sherman was born. In 1828, French author Jules Verne is born today. In 1835, reporting today shows that the United States public debt is zero for the only time. In 1837, Richard Johnson becomes the first Vice President of the United States who was chosen by the U.S. Senate. In 1849, a new Roman Republic is established in Italy. In 1855, the devil's footprints mysteriously appear in fresh snow in southern Devon, England. In 1865, voters in the U.S. state of Delaware reject the 13th Amendment and vote to continue the practice of slavery. Delaware finally ratifies the amendment 36 years later. In 1867, African-American men are granted the right to vote in Washington, D.C. In 1877, Crazy Horse and his warriors fight their last battle against the U.S. Cavalry during the Battle of Wolf Mountain in Montana Territory. In 1879, Stanford Fleming proposes the use of time zones, and they work. In 1887, the Dawes Act authorizes the President of the United States to survey Native American tribal land and divide it into individual allotments. In 1904, the Blackstone Library is dedicated marking the beginning of the Chicago Public Library System. In 1910, the Boy Scouts of America is founded. In 1915, the landmark film The Birth of a Nation made its premiere. Applauded for its technical and dramatic innovations, it is condemned for its obvious racism and its positive portrayal of the Ku Klux Klan. In 1918, The Stars and Stripes, a weekly U.S. Armed Forces newspaper, is first published. In 1920, Gorgeous American actress Lana Turner is born. Well, maybe. Some confusion exists about whether she was born in 1920 or 1921. Either way, she fits here on the list. In 1922, President Warren G. Harding introduces the first radio to the White House. In 1924, the first state execution in the United States by gas chamber takes place in Nevada. In 1925, American funny man Jack Lemmon is born today. In 1926, Disney Brothers Cartoon Studio becomes Walt Disney Studios. In 1930, Happy Days Are Here Again by Benny Maroff hits number one. In 1931, American actor James Dean is born today. In 1932, composer extraordinaire John Williams is born today. In 1936, the first ever NFL draft occurs today. Jay Burwanger from the University of Chicago is the first pick by the Philadelphia Eagles. Also in 1936, the first ski jumping tournament occurs in Red Wing, Minnesota. In 1941, actor Nick Nolte is born today. In 1942, the U.S. Congress advises President Franklin Delano Roosevelt that Americans of Japanese descent should be locked up en masse so they won't oppose the U.S. war effort. In 1945, Paul Brown agrees to coach the new American football expansion team in Cleveland, which would later be named the Browns after their coach. In 1950, East Germany's notorious secret police, known as the Stasi, is established. They last for 40 years. In 1952, the RCA Victor Show starring Dennis Day debuts on NBC TV. In 1956, five U.S. missionaries are killed by the Huarani people of Ecuador shortly after making contact with them. In 1960, the Hollywood Walk of Fame gets its first eight stars. It now has over 2,400. Also in 1960, Queen Elizabeth II of the United Kingdom issues an order in council, stating that she and her family would now be known as the House of Windsor and that her descendants will take the name Montbatten-Windsor. In 1962, the Harmelon train disaster killed 93 people in the Netherlands. In 1963, travel, financial, and commercial transactions by U.S. citizens to Cuba are made illegal by the John F. Kennedy administration. In 1964, President Lyndon B. Johnson declares a war on poverty in the United States. I guess we're still fighting it. 
In 1965, trying to avoid a mid-air collision immediately after takeoff, Eastern Airlines Flight 663 crashes into the Atlantic Ocean and explodes. Everyone perishes. Also in 1965, the Supremes released the single Stop in the Name of Love. In 1965 as well, U.S. President Johnson deploys the first U.S. combat troops to South Vietnam with 3,500 Marines sent to protect the key U.S. airbase near Da Nang. In 1968, Planet of the Apes premieres in New York City. In 1969, today is the last edition of the Saturday Evening Post. In 1971, the world's first electronic stock exchange, NASDAQ, holds its first trading day. By the way, that stands for National Association of Securities Dealers Automated Quotations. In 1973, the trial of seven men accused of illegal entry into the Democratic Party headquarters at the Watergate Hotel in Washington, D.C. begins. In 1974, the life of U.S. space station Skylab comes to an end after 171 days. Also in 1974, former Beatle Ringo Starr releases a cover of Your 16, which was originally released by Johnny Burnett in 1960. In 1975, 1,800 couples belonging to the Unification Church wed in Korea. In 1976, Martin Scorsese's classic movie Taxi Driver had its world premiere. In 1977, three bombs explode in Moscow, Russia within 37 minutes, killing seven. The bombings are attributed to an Armenian separatist group. Also in 1977, Hustler publisher Larry Flint is sentenced on obscenity charges. In 1978, although already broadcast on TV, proceedings of the United States Senate are broadcast on radio for the first time. In 1982, the breakup of AT&T includes the divestiture of 22 subdivisions. In 1983, a dust cloud over 1,000 feet deep envelops Melbourne, Australia, turning day to night. Also in 1983, prize stallion and derby winner Sheergar is kidnapped, or horse-napped, in Ireland and is never found causing Lloyds of London to pay out on the $10.6 million insurance policy. Also in 1983, Wayne Gretzky sets an NHL All-Star record of four goals in one period. In 1984, today is the first time eight people are in space at the same time, at least as far as we know. In 1986, five foot seven inch Spud Webb of the Atlanta Hawks wins the NBA slam dunk competition. In 1989, an independent air Boeing 707 crashes into the Santa Maria Mountain in the Azores, killing 144 people. Also in 1989, British Midland Flight 92, a Boeing 737-400, crashes into the M1 motorway in Great Britain, killing 47 of the 127 people on board. In 1990, 60 Minutes commentator Andy Rooney is suspended by CBS for racial remarks attributed to him by a gay magazine. In 1992, I'm Too Sexy by Right Said Fred peaks at number one. In 1993, Dateline NBC is sued by General Motors after the show allegedly rigs two crashes intending to demonstrate that some GM pickups can easily catch fire. NBC settles the lawsuit the very next day. In 1994, actor Jack Nicholson uses a golf club to attack a car. In 1995, a 6.4 earthquake at Trujillo, Colombia kills more than 46 people. In 1996, the U.S. Congress passes the Communications Decency Act, attempting to control pornography on the internet. In 1998, Finland beats Sweden 6-0 in Nagano, Japan in the first female ice hockey game played in Olympic history. In 2000, Reprise Records releases Both Sides Now, Joni Mitchell's 17th studio album. In 2001, Disney's California Adventure Park opens to the public as part of the Disneyland Resort in Anaheim, California. In 2002, President George W. Bush signs into law the No Child Left Behind Act. In 2003, U.S. Airways Express Flight 5481 crashes at Charlotte Douglas Airport in North Carolina, killing all 21 people on board. Also in 2003, Turkish Airlines Flight 634 
crashes near the airport, killing the entire crew and 70 of the 75 passengers. In 2004, the 46th Grammy Awards are broadcast. Evanescence is a big winner. In 2006, the 48th Grammy Awards are broadcast. John Legend is a big winner. In 2007, Anna Nicole Smith passes away today. In 2008, Nebraska bans the electric chair as the sole execution method. In 2009, the 51st Grammy Awards are broadcast. Robert Plant and Alison Krauss achieve record of the year. Also in 2009, singer Rihanna cancels her appearance at the Grammys after being assaulted by her boyfriend Chris Brown. In 2010, a freak storm in the mountains of Afghanistan triggers a series of at least 36 avalanches, buries over two miles of road, kills at least 172 people, and traps over 2,000 travelers. In 2013, a massive blizzard begins in the U.S. and Canada that results in 15 deaths, 5,300 canceled flights, and loss of power for 900,000 people. In 2014, the slope-style snowboarding event makes its Olympic debut at the Sochi Winter Games. In 2016, French ballerina Violetta Verde, known for her eloquent and buoyant dancing, dies at age 82. Also in 2016, late-night talk show Full Frontal with Samantha B debuts on TBS in the United States. In 2018, Twitter reports its first quarterly profit as a public company. In 2020, a gunman shoots and kills 29 people in a shopping center in Thailand. 57 more are injured. The shooter is shot and killed by security forces a day later. And lastly, in 2021, South Africa halts rollout of the Oxford AstraZeneca COVID-19 vaccine after research into the South African variant shows it offers no protection against mild and moderate illnesses. There was your February 8th update. There are many more days on the way. Stay tuned.